Monica here with the Ninja Coffee Bar. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to descale your coffee pot with white vinegar and using water. What you're going to do is you're going to come here, you're going to fill your reservoir up to the travel mug, if you can see that, right there with white vinegar. Then you're going to fill the rest of the tank up with water. I use tap water straight out of my tap. Um, make sure your settings is on the biggest setting so it can clean faster. If you do it on a little cup, it's going to take longer. To me, it does anyways. Um, I use my old coffee pot to catch the water so I don't have to keep emptying the cups over and over and over. When it's time to clean your coffee pot or bar, you're going to see this light is illuminated in orange. Mine is not because I cleaned it yesterday. I'm doing this for learning purposes for you guys that are having trouble issues. Make sure your drip stop is off. If it's on, the light will be illuminated here, which says your drip stop is on. You turn it back off by switching it here back to off. Well, on so it does drip. So that light's gone. Normally this light would be orange. You're going to press this button to get started. Now it'll start flashing in orange to let you know that the process has started. This light will come on on the classic brew. Do not press that button. That is just a part of the process. I think a lot of people are making mistakes thinking that they have to hit this button because it illuminates. Do not press it. Now we sit here and wait for the cleaning process to um, get to the 15 minute mark. What it does is, is it gets to that 15 minute mark and it sits for 15 whole minutes soaking those burners and everything in there that warms up the water to get all of the filth out of there. Again, all I'm using is white distilled vinegar from Winn-Dixie and my tap water. I'll see you guys in just a second. It has stopped the dripping process. See how the button, the clean but button is blinking. It is still in the cleaning process. This is where your 15 minutes comes in and you will wait. Nothing will happen. You just wait 15 minutes. Um, it's been 15 minutes. Just to let you know, this is also not in the handbook, but it does beep after 15 minutes. It says it'll blink. Let's see. It states in the manual that the clean light will blink three times when it's done, but mine is continuously blinking. Um, it has always done that, but it does do a beeping noise. So at this point, what you're going to do is now hit the clean button again. So it starts the cleaning process again. You will continue to do this each time it stops until the reservoir is empty. Right now, this is where my reservoir is at. And so goes on the cleaning process. Again, you will do that. You will click the clean button each time it stops until the reservoir is empty. And we wait. Again, which is letting me know that I have finished another cleaning process. I noticed one thing about the blinking light is during the cleaning process it blinks faster. After the cleaning process it blinks slower. We're going to hit it again until the reservoir is empty. This is still with the cleaning solution vinegar and water mixture. And we're beeping again. We are out of water. The reservoir is empty. What I'm going to do next is take and empty the container right there, rinse it out, put in fresh water, as well as the reservoir. I'm going to do the same, and then I'm going to replace it and fill it up to the max fill line again with fresh water and run it through the same process. Okay, I have refilled my reservoir back to the max fill line right here. Probably hard to see because it's in the black but it's right here. I have filled it up to there and I'm going to again hit the clean button 
And we're going to continue this process until the reservoir is empty again. The drip process has stopped again. I'm going to hit the clean button again to restart it until my reservoir is empty. The rinse process takes about three of these hitting the clean button about three times as long as you're set on your multi-serve extra-large travel mug. This is the actual travel mug, but this is the multi-serve. I guess it's for like two people. I'm not sure. Of course, I should have read my instructions. But this is the one I set it on for cleaning. We are done, guys. The cleaning light is back off. It does beep and blink five times after your reservoir is completely empty and has rinsed the system clean. I have, it's no longer illuminated, illuminated, excuse me. So that means my coffee bar is clean. It does take time, be patient. This was one of my mistakes in the beginning. I didn't wait the 15 minutes for the clean cycle and I wanted to keep pressing buttons. Um, but it will let you know when the 15 minutes is up, it'll beep and you come back and press the clean button. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know.